Hey guys, what's up? It's Gina. Um, I know I promised that I would make a video right after I got back from vacation, but I spent the two days that I had after I came back searching for a job, and then they put me on at Circuit City from opening to 5 on Friday, 12 to close on Saturday, 12 to close on Friday, and open to close on Sunday. So, um, I've probably worked a good 25 to 30 hours in the past three or four days so I'm, I'm very very tired um, but I'm off today so I finally got time to make you guys a video so I'm sorry about the lateness but um uh, thank you for all the well wishes and for all the birthday wishes my trip was wonderful it was relaxing it was nice to get away from everything uh, before I left I was very angry and frustrated and stressed out at Circuit City um, I know it, it, it didn't really show in the video but I was I, I honestly I was losing my mind because nobody was caring about anything anymore and I was just frustrated and the trip g gave me a chance to kind of step away take a breath and come back with a whole fresh new perspective and uh, so even though I worked all those hours so far this week I honestly I feel basically stress free because I got to just take a breather and and kind of start anew um, so I promised that I would make a video about what has changed in the store in the past week and a half um, the number one thing is that there's a ton of signs everywhere. There's these bright yellow and red signs hanging from the, from the ceiling that says, you know, store closing sale, everything must go, nothing held back. It's, it's crazy, and, um, it, it makes the store look like this madhouse. And there's price tags on everything. They're selling everything from the aisle fixtures to the tables and the chairs in our break room, our, our microwave, our refrigerator. They're selling the lockers that we put our stuff in. There's price tags on everything. Um, we have four liquidators in our store because there are four liquidation companies that bought out Circuit City. And one of them is actually just doing the furniture. That's his entire job is he's liquidating the furniture. And they actually took our camera supervisor and he's now in charge of selling all of the fixtures and furniture so um so th so that's something really big that's changed uh, another thing that's changed is that um are the discounts did go deeper i'm still reading um articles that people are complaining about how <laughs> expensive everything still is but um for those of you who don't know how liquidation works there's something called msrp which stands for manufacturer suggested retail price um, most stores like Circuit City and Best Buy will sell things slightly under MSRP to kind of beat online prices and to encourage people to come and shop in the stores. And um, what liquidators do is they bring everything back up to MSRP and then start discounting it from there. So I see a lot of people complaining that, you know, I can still go to Best Buy and, and still get better prices than your liquidation prices. And, uh... The honest answer to that is, well, that's not our choice. That's the liquidators. That's how they sell what they sell. Uh, but the discounts are the discounts are still really, really good. I mean, th there's some stuff in there. I'm looking at those prices, and I'm like, damn, if, if I had the money, <laughs> I would buy something myself. Um, so that's basically how the store has changed. There's a lot of people also um, that I work with that are no longer here. Um... I actually just got a call from my girlfriend. There's now two of our security guys no longer work there. They got other jobs. There's two people that are now working with us part-time because they got other jobs and they're slowly transitioning into their new jobs. And uh, we had one manager of ours that came into the store on Saturday, saw how crazy it was, walked back out, and texted one of uh, his supervisors that he's no longer coming back. <laughs> so um, we definitely are still losing people. Some people simply can't handle the liquidation. Others have been able to find jobs and move on, which is good to see. I'm glad that they uh, were able to find opportunities. But, uh, you know, it is sad to see all these people that I've worked with for so many years ago. And uh, it's weird to, to just see everything going on the way it is. Even yesterday, on Super Bowl Sunday, it was absolutely packed. And I honestly thought that, you know, towards the end of the day, around 5-ish, since kickoff was at, I think, 6.18 or something like that, that everybody was going to start heading home and going to watch the pregame shows. Oh, no. <laughs> they were there until the very last minute that we closed. We had to kick them all out. So, it, it, it still has been very crazy. Um... But it's a weird kind of crazy. The weekends are absolutely insane. Monday through Friday is like a dead zone. It's very weird. 
Um, it does get busier towards the end of the day, which is normal for retail because people start getting off of work uh, and stuff like that. People start getting out of school, so it always gets busier during the nighttime. But for the most part, it's it's pretty dead uh, during the week, and then the weekends are crazy. Uh, so other other than that, that's really all that's that changed at Circuit City. Um, as far as my work situation, um, I have not heard anything back from anyone yet. I'm still trying to put in applications and, and work as hard as I possibly can to make an opportunity for myself. Um, I just turned 25 and I definitely wanted to use some of the time that I had, like my free time during my vacation in North Carolina to think things over, you know, I mean, 25 is kind of a pivotal year, it's, it's, you know, you're a quarter of a century old, if you think about it in a way, you know, it's kind of like a little bit of a landmark, and I wanted to take the time to kind of think about where I've traveled to up to this point in my life and where I want to go, and I really feel like I want to start working really hard to go towards my ultimate goal, and one of the things that I want to do, honestly, is that I don't want to be unhappy anymore. I don't want to just take any job that comes my way because it's going to give me money. I want to try and put in that extra effort to get something that I know that I'll at least enjoy a little bit. Um, you know, because I, I grew to really love Circuit City, but when I first started working there, I was miserable because it wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, I was scared, you know, it was my first kind of unsecured job because I used to work for a job where a family member of mine was a higher up so you know it wasn't like you know people were getting fired from that job or anything like that it was a very tough kind of job to get hi uh, fired from so the insecurity of a job like that kind of scared me at first but I mean I grew to love Circuit City and I grew to be very confident in myself and uh, Circuit City also taught me a lot about how to approach people because I'm a very shy person and I would never ever dream of going up to a stranger and just starting a conversation with them but after three years of doing it you know 50 60 70 times probably even up really more upwards into the hundreds over a hundred times a day to sell stuff you get used to it after a while and I think that that has given me a confidence within myself that I didn't have before Circuit City and I guess the way that Circuit City has changed me the positive ways that it has changed me is another reason why I'm really sad that I'm watching my company go down you know I had one guy come in and put his hand on my shoulder and tell me uh, that he knew what I was going through he was a personal business owner and his store went out of business and he said he remembered he walked in one day and his workers had put up all the going out of business signs and he just started crying. <laughs> you know, that you know, it's heartbreaking to see this place that you invested so much time into go. And um, I had one of my favorite regular customers come up to me yesterday and he said, Gina, it's been an absolute pleasure knowing you and I honestly wish you the best of luck. And I had I had to go into the back and I had to step away because I was I was in tears, you know. Um, a lot of the response from our regulars has been really positive, besides the vultures that feel the need to come in and scream and yell and complain thinking we're going to give them some kind of better deal to get them out of the store, which is, you know, so infantile, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, I don't really know when I'll update again. I guess I'll wait until I have something really significant to update with. Um, there's no really point, I guess, making senseless videos. The big point of this video is to talk about how it's changed in the week and a half that I've been gone. So, that's what I've done. And, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys when, uh, there's some other development, whether I'm, you know, find a job opportunity or whether something within Circuit City changes or I think of something else that I want to speak about. So, there you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. To all the other Circuit City workers, keep working hard to find another job. Best of luck to you and your teams. Thank you to everybody that's been supportive. And to all those people who have been leaving me really rude comments, keep on saying what you're saying because it doesn't bring me down. So, peace. See you guys.